Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Jadhav, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see the functional testing of the software engineering course. Now functional testing is checking the correctness and completeness of the system. The process of checking the internal functionality depends upon the external functionality. In this process, the pro execution of the test case is done and the functionality is verified whether it is working correctly or not. Now, validation of the inter internal features of the build is done here. The different functional testings that we have are behavioral coverage testing, input domain coverage testing, error handling coverage testing, back end coverage testing, service level coverage testing, calculation based coverage testing. Now behavioral coverage testing, in this we check the property and the behavior of the object. Like when we talk about text box, we check the property of the object, whether it is focused and unfocused. For the radio button, we check whether it is on or off. For the buttons, we check whether it is clickable, unclickable. And for the checkbox, we check whether it is checked or unchecked. Now, the input domain coverage. The input domain coverage, we check the type and the size of the input. The type means the data type of the input and the size means if the mobile number tab is there, then the size should be 10. In the input domain coverage, we have to maintain the BVA that is the boundary value analysis and the equivalence class partitioning. The boundary value analysis checks the size of the object and the equivalence class partitioning takes care of the data type of the object. Also, the decision table testing technique is used in the input domain coverage testing. Now, error handling coverage testing. Error handling coverage include checking whether the system show the error message or not. If in customer requirement, the mobile number should accept the 10 digits and developer develop the build according to it, then if the customer is entering two digits and clicking on the OK button and the system should give us the message that please enter a 10 digit mobile number. So this is a process of validation whether the system is showing us the error message or not. Now back end coverage testing or database coverage testing. The back end of any software is a database. In the back end coverage, the developer check whether the entire information from the user gets stored in the database or not. We also check whether the data is being fetched from the database or not. Now service based coverage testing. In the functional flow diagram, the business analyst create the sequence of function and the modules. This aspect of the sequentiality of the functional modules get tested in the service level coverage. They check the working of the system is as per the functional flow diagram or not. In short, in the service level coverage, we are checking whether the functionalities are working or the flow is as per the SRS document or as per the customer requirement. Now the next is the calculation based coverage testing. Now the calculation based coverage testing checks the arithmetic operation. The arithmetic operations include addition, multiplication, division, subtraction. For example, if you are buying anything from an e-commerce website, 
you have added the items in the cart. After some times, you have deleted one of the item from the cart. So, the calculation should be correct. Means, if considering you have added four items worth rupees 8000 rupees after removing a particular item from the cart or deleting an item from the cart, the, the amount should be reduced. So this calculation based coverage testing checks whether the calculation is done correctly or not. So here in the functional testing, we are checking whether the application that is developed or being developed is working as per the functionality or not, or whether it is giving wrong output. And the, after testing, we are immediately forwarding it to the developer to do the corrections so that the system would have no defect. So I hope you have understood the functional testing under the testing part in software engineering. Thank you.